All right, I've tried building this a couple of times. Right now, I'm going to do an airborne critter bait, and I'm going to put it right here. Now, this is the third time I've built the airborne critter bait. We'll see what happens when they build it. They build it, they build it, they build it, they build it. It's there. Oh, do they eat it? That's not how it's supposed to work. Welcome back. This is Nom Nom, and once again, we are in Oxygen Not Included. This is where we are at the beginning of cycle 40. It's still quite warm. Uh, the game continues to evolve as small patches come out to this pre-release preview version of the game. Uh, what I'm finding is the rusty oxidizer is creating way too much heat over here. The ice maker has been changed. It produces way too much heat to be useful for, <laughs> for this scenario. Anyways, it'll never cool down my thermal regulator. Uh, so I am going to <sighs> continue to cool down this core, box it in with some insulated tile, and get these dupes fed before I run out of calories. Okay, so fast forward after a lot of maintenance work on the base, we're on cycle 61. So I skipped forward quite a bit. Just a quick recap. I did finish the insulation around the outside of the base. I'm actually extending it uh, another layer here. I'm going to, I think, put a bedroom up here. I have a small ranch over here, uh, which is uh, stable over here. We've got this nature reserve and these barracks. We're going to move those up. We extended the greenhouse. Uh, we are, I think, producing enough food for all the dupes, or at least close. I was very fortunate on the printing pod, and I got two times in a row 12,000 kcals of barbecue. So that's pretty much half the food that we have right now we still have 12,000 kcals left so that's great um, also of note they renamed the forest muckroot hexalent fruit and if you look at it up close it's got all these hexagonal hexagonal sides so that's hexalent which looks like let's see if I can find one of this dug up it doesn't look attractive, let's just put it that way. Uh, I don't see one that's dug up, but it looks like some slimy tuber. So, yeah, it's a good time. Excellent. Um, let's see what else. Um, I got a few more insulated tiles blocking off this area over here. It's getting quite warm over here. I did turn off the ice maker. Uh, the thermal regulator here um, is running out of power constantly. Uh, it's also kicking out a lot of heat, and it's around 46 degrees right now. Overheats at 75, so I'm going to have to come up with another solution eventually. Maybe in another 40 or so cycles, that thing will start overheating. Okay, I've got the fire poles in where I want them right now. Uh, this one goes all the way down, and I did start that mushroom farm down here. It's a sort of a unique greenhouse shape here. Um, I was going to throw the greenhouse uh, farm station down here and realized I didn't leave two tiles next to each other to place it. So I just went ahead and put it up there it works uh, they have to move around a little bit more but whatever I'm actually gonna go ahead and open this door no reason for that to be closed I'm also gonna copy these settings here I don't have the dust caps uh, I don't think I have any right now um, fungal spores I have none but when I get them um, you know hopefully we'll get to extend why won't you copy copy oh gotta get rid of this guy here I'll uproot that pinch of peppermint um, eventually I'll get this, uh, oh, he's trying to farm the pinch of nut. Hold on. Good job. It won't grow because of body temperature, but you're going to fertilize it anyways. Yay, go team. All right, I'll get rid of that. I'll be able to plant something in that farm tile. Um, what else? Uh, I have a lot of lumber. I have almost 30,000 lumber going in the base. So I did throw down this ethanol distillery, and holy cow, do they get warm. This thing's already at 41 degrees. I insulated the pipes. I realized that the ethanol coming out of it, let's see if we can get it. 72 degrees it's coming out. And the pipe was running right across the machine. I was basically generating, what is this? 4.5 kilo DTUs from running the ethanol distillery. And then I was piping hot material past the ethanol distillery, just heating it up even more. So that was... That was a little bit of a learning. I didn't realize how hot the ethanol was going to come out of the distillery. Um, so anyways, yeah, it's really warm down here. And you're going to get to watch this if we can do it. Dun, dun, dun. I printed a wheeze wart. 
go ahead and give that our priority six so they plant that thing. Now, uh, Weezwort is going to require that they, uh, there it is, that they fertilize it with phosphorite, 4K phosphorite per cycle. I do have quite a lot of phosphorite right now, 13 tons, and only one Weezwort. So that's going to go for quite a while. But hopefully, I mean, it's surrounded by carbon dioxide and chlorine really bad heat transfer uh, as far as the properties of these um, thermal conductivity super super low but um, you do what you got to do and for now uh, that's what I'm gonna do uh, hopefully that'll help I mean obviously I can see it's already helping but we'll have to uh, definitely have to maybe flood this area with hydrogen and maybe get a second wheeze in there we'll see um, yeah, yeah I don't, I'm not sure what I do love a lot about this ethanol distillery is that it doesn't require a dupe other than to load it with wood it just runs by itself um, it's not running by itself a lot right now because i keep running out of power but uh, i'm gonna have to solve that power problem sooner than later now i do have a thousand kilograms of ethanol i could put down um, an ethanol what is it uh, petroleum generator let me go to research here I could try, here we go, petroleum generator. It used to be able to run on ethanol. I don't know if it still can. So it's possible that the petroleum generator won't run on ethanol, and that's a big waste of my time. But hey, you know what? It's a development build. The rules are changing all the time. I guess we'll find out. Um, let's see, in the last 20 cycles, what happened? I finished um, agriculture and ranching. Finished uh, exosuits. I got, uh, we had HVAC. Finished hazard protection. So that got us also uh, some uh, textile production and improved ventilation. Problem right now, I have absolutely no reed fiber. I don't think there's any reed fiber on this map. So the only thing we can do is farm some Drecos. So we're going to have to do that. Go ahead and check what's on the printing pod. Ding. Choosing a blueprint. Um, so slow going these last 22 cycles without a lot of dupes. I did bring in another dupe. We're up to five dupes. So let's go ahead and bring in another dupe. But again, I'm still worried about food. So can't do this too often. Uh, can't cook, can't research. Don't really care. That's fine. Caregiver. I think Otto is going to win. Ooh, diver's lungs though. Hmm. Do love that decreased air consumption rate. But suit wearing, doctoring, I don't have a doctor. Liam, Dr. Liam. Got it. All right, Dr. Liam, it is. We'll take you and print you up. Uh, by the way, if anybody wants to comment on this video, I will name a dupe after you. So there you go. Little comment reward. Low effort, high payout. All right, I cannot make an exosuit because I do not have these materials. I saw some Drecos up here, so we're gonna go ahead and make a run for the Drecos. I do wanna ladder up to them, but it looks like I'm gonna ladder up right through this tree, which I don't wanna do. So I am going to just go right there. I guess I'm gonna have to, uh, gonna have to dig up that wild mealwood. It's not worth all that much. I could answer 12 cycles or something like that. Yeah. Uh, dig up that and then we'll ladder up there, get those Drecos. I think we'll turn this into like an impromptu Dreco ranch over here. Go ahead and just dig this out like so. Put a door on it. And what do we got here? A station. We'll put a grooming station over here. Boom, and a sh uh, uh, shoot. I'll do it here. I realize just now that I'm going to have to bring power over to this stuff and for the grooming station. And I don't want to run power all the way up there. So we'll do it here. Finish these insulated tiles. Slap a door on this right here and bring some power up to it. Which is just kind of comical because... I have no power. I might just throw down another coal generator. I do have 17 tons of coal. Uh, so I did dig over here to the left where I put the ethanol distiller. I dug over here and dug this out. This was basically coal and algae. 
Um, I did want to get some algae because I was thinking of turning off this rusty oxidizer, which if you recall was right here. I moved it over here just because it's kicking out a lot of heat. I realized that this is still the oxygen that's coming into my base and the oxygen is really warm, but uh, at least this way the machinery is not heating up the base that I've been spending a lot of time trying to cool. I doubled down on the thermal regulator. So we've got it coming in at 25 and going out at six. So it is making a pretty significant cooling difference in the, uh, if I can click on the right one, cooling difference in the base. But these uh, air-based cooling systems um, are just not that efficient. I really need to get into the thermal uh, aqua tuner, but thermal aqua tuner is gonna require me to get some steel, I think, first, because I'm gonna wanna use that thing to create steam and delete some of that heat. Right now, I'm just moving the heat from here over to here. Um, it's, it's not a long-term solution. Uh, so I did build an, an exosuit dock over here so that I can get into this very hazardous chlorine area because I found, bum, 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 look at that. We have a vent. I did finally get the digging required to dig through the obsidian. And we have a vent there. And we have a vent here. Yep, and we have a vent here. So this is going to be a triple vent reveal. I'm going to go ahead and queue this up now, and we'll find out together here what it is that we have. Now, I do need to dig this out. Maybe I'll just do it like this. Keep a little bit of a... There we go. Maybe I can trap oxygen in this bubble here and then not get so much chlorine um, all right so I am gonna move this bathroom too I'm gonna destroy everything and move the bathroom here so basically we have to go through the bathroom to get to this uh, exosuit dock but uh, atmosuit dock but whatever it is what it is um, also I'm pumping this water up and the water's at 61 degrees 69 over here so this is uh, it, it's <laughs> it's quite warm this water and uh, I'm pumping it into insulated pipe from this point forward over to here so you'll see that this spot got really hot um yeah it's at 42 degree water over here uh, mostly because it's been heating up these tiles it's coming in at whatever's in the pipe there it's coming in at like 55. so um, i do want to get a thermal aqua tuner up to to cool that water before bringing it into my base so i'm kind of waiting for that before i turn this into a plumbed bathroom but i'm gonna basically demolish all this and move it down um, and have this this big bathroom where I can throw some artwork up above it. Um, speaking of artwork, uh, we have researched um, artistic expression, textiles, and fine arts. So we have uh, vitals. Here we go. So uh, May, if we look at her skills, she has creativity of five. And I've gone ahead and given her art fundamentals. So May will be able to help with uh, our new bedroom that we're going to build up here making it a little friendlier place for our dupes part of this bedroom build is i want to move the the bedroom over so i can get this um, fire pole straight up and down here so i'm going to go ahead and put the bedroom door over here and we'll go ahead and finish that off with insulated tile now insulated tile uh, does not have any sort of core bonus like regular tile does and so it's actually at minus five, so it's not fantastic for the bedroom. I'm going to replace the floor here with regular tile, uh, and hopefully those tiles will be far enough away um, to not really kill. Yeah, insulated tile minus 15, but the dupes won't be right there. They'll be there or lower, right? So it's going to be pretty good. Ton of debris over here. I did throw in a second row of storage bins, uh, and I swept out like the bathroom and some other areas. Um, I'm getting frustrated with the pips. Um, they're not nearly as good as I had hoped uh, for all the work it took me to trap one. It did plant two more mealwood seeds. Um, I was, you know, really hoping it would plant them all. I don't know if its plant density is just too high now and it won't plant anymore. Um, we'll just keep, there's three, you know, a bunch of seeds here, five, six seeds here. We'll go ahead and give it some more time. It just, that's a, 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 a long-term commitment on that experiment right there. These guys over here, um, I keep, oh, stop putting arbor seeds in there. I'm putting one arbor seed in there and then they're taking it out and then I'm putting, they're putting it back in and I, I just keep forgetting to disable that. So 
they won't plant this arbor seed. They planted these two trees, and if you paid attention to the way the trees grow, this tree is in the way of this tree's branches, and this tree can't have any branches. So I, I'm going to dig this tree up. I've dug this tree up once before, and they planted it in the exact same spot. So I'm hoping they move it, plant it somewhere else, but we'll see those crazy little pips. Um, okay, this ranch up here, it is cramped. So these guys are not happy, they're overcrowded, and so the reproduction rates go down. Um, I do have a, um, why is he bundled up? I didn't, I didn't capture critter. I didn't wrangle anybody. I don't understand why he's wrangled. Because I hit all creatures. Auto wrangle surplus, did I? No, just hatchlings. So that's what I thought. So the intent was for me to go up here and say, hey, you know what, if I have... I don't know how many critters I have in there now. Uh, let's see. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five. Plus I have six. I have one there. Uh, I guess that counts as seven, eight, nine. I have like nine. So I want to say if I have more than like eight, then auto wrangle. And we'll see if we can bring this down to a point where they're not cramped. Um, Let's see. This room will become overcrowded when all eggs, nearby eggs hatch. Okay, so they're not crowded now. That's good. But they're cramped, which brings the reproduction rate down. So I don't want that. Um, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to figure out what to do with that. All right, this is a stable. It's 66 tiles. We can make it a little bit bigger by going up for sure. We'll do that and see how we do. And then uh, we are going to capture these Drekos. Before I capture them, though, we got a critter drop-off. We're going to throw right there. All right. I've tried building this a couple of times. Right now, I'm going to do an airborne critter bait, and I'm going to put it right here. Now, this is the third time I've built the airborne critter bait. We'll see what happens when they build it. They build it, they build it, they build it, they build it. It's there. Oh, do they eat it? That's not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> right you're supposed to put bait in it but did you see that these these shine bugs like rushed it and then and then it's gone so i was trying to get let me try another one let's see what it says type of critter attracted by critter bait depends on the construction material oh and i'm building it out of phosphorus which is what i want to build it out of high thermal so it takes metal and phosphorus. Okay, we'll do that. I'm going to open this door. I'm trying to get this, this shine bug out of the bedroom without killing it, is basically what I'm trying to do. All right, now that he goes to it, as soon as he touches it, it it's destroyed. All right. I don't understand what's happening there at all. No, no. Oh, are you kidding? I trapped him in the door now, didn't I? Uh, you live there now, Shinebug. You live there. And not only do you live there, you're going to ruin whosoever bed that is. They're not going to get any sleep. Ugh. Is there a Shinebug trapped in it? There sure is. Wow. And these guys, they're sabotaging my bedroom. Knock it off, dupes. There is this dupes, duplicate motion sensor. I was thinking of putting that in here, and if it detected a duplicate, like having a light in here, but if the duplicate came in here, then the light turned off. Um, but I guess that doesn't really serve a purpose other than having fun with automation. All right, put that tile back, and I think we're just going to have to kill these guys. You guys are going to die. And you don't even give any food, but you're really a problem. Look at that. They just pop. They're like shattered glass. They should, that's what they should do. They should give glass when you kill them. That would be awesome. Okay. What else? Um, we still need Drekos. Let's get those Drekos. Dreco. Six. And capture critter. Get them. Where's the other one? Where's the other Dreco? Those Drekos, man, they travel fast. Faster than you'd think. 
Here, little Draco. All right, they're both right there. Got it. All right. Come on, guys. Bring them home. We need to shear some Dracos. And ding, we missed it again. Printing pod. Choosing a blueprint. Water. <laughs> I will absolutely take water every time. Look at this. I mean, I have a lot here, but I will definitely take water at that temperature. Going to check skills real quick. Harold's got a skill up. Hmm, Harold, what are you thinking? Uh, he's going down the electrical engineering path. He's pretty close here on his stress level, um, but not over it. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to get you into a bedroom. Uh, Liam, Dr. Liam, medicine compounding. Got it. And let's check the research tree. Let's get that liquid tuning done. Uh, now we're going to go for fossil fuels first. Fossil fuels. We'll find out about that petroleum generator. That could solve our power woes, but it's going to kick out a bunch of stuff we don't want. <laughs> uh, okay, this guy I can copy now. All right, eventually we'll have a functional mushroom farm going on down here. Uh, I also, I talked about this in one of my earlier videos about punching a bridge through here, um, connecting these two like vertical shafts and I did that uh, to help manage the CO2 so this obviously flooded with CO2 um, and I've got a lot of chlorine floating around um, these guys here where are they these guys here were eating chlorine for a while but after I punched this bridge across here the chlorine moved <laughs> it all went over here so uh, actually yeah that's not good my mealwood over here is not growing right now so we do need to do something about um, there. that will help a little bit we do need to do something about uh, all the co2 um, so I'm thinking a carbon skimmer um, I was thinking a carbon skimmer and uh, a water sieve hmm all right yeah we'll, we'll have to look into that right now I think though I'm gonna do this um, it's warm in here but I'm gonna put a pitcher pump right there and a couple of mesh tile all right and because I did dig up that algae earlier I'm gonna throw try throwing down a couple algae terrariums here just uh, just to help out all right what do we got here cool steam vent is that the same thing we have here cool steam vent holy cow am I gonna have a lot of water over here this guy's obviously kicking out a lot of water um, once I start turning that into oxygen, it's going to go fast. So this is great. Um, but I also want to get over to this vent. This vent over here. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge to get to because as soon as I punch past this cool steam vent, it's going to start spewing out lots of water. So I'm going to have to move fast. Also, there's salt water over here. Ah, oh, man. All right. So let's finish up what we have in the queue so they're not working on a bunch of tasks at once. So when I do this cool steam vent, they can focus on what they're doing. Um, all right, how's this Weezwort doing? Uh, he doesn't seem to be doing much, but you know, this thing's not much hotter than it was, so I'm gonna give him some credit uh, for working hard. You keep going there, little Weezwort. You keep going. All right, oxygen is not great, which is probably why the CO2 and everything is going up uh, as high as it is in the base. I do have a message over here insufficient oxygen generation, so. Maybe that's the next thing I should work on. All right, how did you get out? Oh, you haven't been wrangled yet. Can I give you a priority? I can. Wrangle him. All right, and then this guy also, you need to shear him like in a big way. I, I'm not sure if you can shear him before they're tame. And obviously he's not tame. He hasn't been in here for very long. Um, he is wild. I don't know how tame he is. There's a taming progress on there somewhere. Uh, okay, now I have so many shine bugs over here. All right, no hatchlings right now. I got hatchling eggs. Uh, all right, so the, the the ranching of the hatchlings didn't go very well because these shine bugs got in here and they sort of took over. So I guess I'll make another ranch for the hatchlings, and I'm gonna make an assumption that they can. Um, eat wood 
I don't know if that's true or not, but hopefully then these arbor trees can just drop food for the hatches and they'll turn that into coal. Um, let's see, sage hatches, sage hatching egg, no database entry. All right, we'll look at sage, oh, sage hatch. Sage hatch will eat lumber? Come on. He will not eat lumber. Wow, he loves food, though. Polluted dirt. Slime dirt. How are we doing on things like polluted dirt? We actually have a lot of polluted dirt. Um, I mean, almost a ton. Uh, because this thing's kicking out polluted, polluted dirt constantly. Um, and it can't even keep up with my lumber production. So I might want to make another one of those. This thing's been running for like seven, ten cycles, something like that. And we only filled up half of a liquid reservoir. Uh, so it's not producing ethanol all that quickly. Um, but, I mean, the, the coal generator or the battery here keeps running out of power. So it's not like it's been running full time. Especially when I was researching. When I was researching, I was running out of power constantly. All right. Temperature in the base. 27 degrees so it looks like we've gotten past the food hurdle um, if I can get this chlorine out of here um, that would help a lot um, one other thing that I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need somewhere to put my polluted water once I plumb my bathroom and I've chosen this spot here I'm gonna uh, replace these rust tiles with regular tiles and just build a big like deep polluted water bin uh, for that um, all right, it looks like most of our jobs have queued, uh, our queued up jobs have finished. Um, all of our construction tasks are done at this point. Oh, they did shear that guy too. Ah, uh, that gave me industrial reed fiber. I have zero. You, okay, they're somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and queue up this Atmos suit. Ah, they're in the, they're in there. They put them in there for that Atmos suit that I already had queued up. Um, so they're used already. Um, so we can get this Atmo suit, we can deliver a suit here, I'm going to give that a priority of 6, otherwise it usually takes them a long time, and then we can go check out this other vent over here. Meanwhile, oh, okay, here we go, I'm going to queue this up a little bit, so we're going to put a ladder down here, and we're going to go ladder up here. Do this. Okay, let me think about this. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this ladder tile. Uh, we're going to do this. I'm going to ladder in there. I'm going to put a door here. Not there. Down one. The door there. And dig that. All right. Queue up some more digging. Get rid of that. We're going to go here, here. I really want to find out what that is, so we're going to go there first. All right, so they should finish all this. Um, let's get a power source from here. Oh, I'm gonna. There we go. Otherwise, that algaecarium would be floating. That's not gonna be any good for it. Okay, they're not going to be able to breathe while they're working in there, so that's going to be a little tricky. I'm thinking just to keep them alive for right now, I'm going to put another algae terrarium in there. That's a, that's a long dig for them to, <laughs> to go without oxygen, yeah? All right, it's going well. Uh, I am going to queue up a couple more trees to auto-harvest. And get wood faster.
All right. Now there's a mealwood that I don't have auto harvest, which means it was planted by a pip. There's another one. That one I might have dug into. Those nosh bean, nosh, nosh sprouts. All right, I know they changed some things with the nosh sprouts. I, I don't even know where those seeds came from. Do I have nosh seeds? Uh, apparently I did. I either uncovered it by digging it up or some pips planted it. I don't really see any pips active over here, but they get around those pips. So that's probably what happened. I hear these have some weird, yeah, ethanol. The nosh beans take ethanol. Now here's the painful irony. The nosh sprouts like a body temperature of between minus 25 and zero degrees Celsius. They like it cold. This map, that's ridiculous. At least right now it's ridiculous. They like it cold. And what do they want to drink? Ethanol that gets produced at 75 degrees Celsius. That's just ridiculous. Oh, nosh sprouts. I won't be growing you for a while. And these mealwood down here aren't going to grow because it's 32 degrees down here. All right. Get some water to this thing. How about you uh, help a dupe out, huh? All right, I built this runway here before I knew what that was, but now that I know what that is, I'm going to replace it with insulated tile. Just trying to, again, contain the heat. Yeah, these guys are going to keep running over here for oxygen. This is <laughs> it's going to be painful to watch, honestly. Uh, this one over here, I haven't delivered that Atmos suit yet. Uh, insufficient resources, aluminum. Seriously? Oh, I need refined aluminum. That's why. Not aluminum ore. Aluminum. All right, we'll give that a priority of six. Get that done as well. <sighs> you know... What? What is happening there? Chlorine. All right, I'm going to deconstruct that farm tile. We're going we're gonna to try something. Since this area seems to want chlorine. Put an upside down farm tile there. And try growing some salt vine in there. Maybe that'll help clear out the chlorine. I honestly need a better solution than that, but unless I've turned all of these into salt vine, they're not gonna eat enough chlorine, but maybe it'll help. Besides this will give me salt. All right, fine. I understand. I must dig up this mealwood. All right. Plan to the dash of salt. Actually, because it's in a farm tile, I wonder if it'll consume chlorine faster. Or no. Greenhouse. Words. Words are hard. Okay. So much CO2. I'm going to do this, let this oxygen out. I can do this as well. And I might as well set this to do eggshell into lime forever too. I don't know how much eggshell I've got floating around, but it serves no purpose. And I missed it. Printing prod down. Hmm. Joy seeds, no good. Another dupe. Mm, food's not good. I'm going to say no, so we're taking some joyous seeds. All right, how's the base temp? 28 and holding. Not doing great. I did put uh, one... There it is. I did put, I guess, two tile of radiant gas pipe over here. Just because this area was so hot from the uh, rust deoxidizer, I wanted to cool it down. And that area of the base is like 21 degrees, 23 degrees. So that worked out pretty good. Um, but obviously, I mean, the oxygen is still coming out of here at a fairly consistent temperature, uh, somewhere between 7 and 15. Um, wow, it's really, really jumping around, though. But anyways, point is, 
it's not getting really cold because it's certainly losing all of its power still here in the loop. I mean, you can see how see how blue this is here, and then how like green or light blue and green and whatever teal that is coming back. It's still giving up all of its heat. And that's two of these guys running like full time. Whew. Well, full time when they have power. Getting close to 50 degrees. Okay, so uh, what now? Uh, did that guy, is he dormant? Oh, he's dormant. Okay, that's actually good. That gives me some time to to do this nonsense over here. Um, not sure what happened there with my dig plan. But come on, guys, get to it. So we're going to get over there. Um, hmm, I guess we should do this with uh, insulated tile when we do it. And then we dig all this up when we have time. Hop to it, dupes. Nice. Salt water biome with some lettuce. I think they changed this water weed too. Oh, what, didn't it used to be? I'm confused. Water weed gives lettuce? Yeah, okay, it gives lettuce. It needs salt water. Okay, so now it drinks salt water. Hmm. All right. That is going to be an issue for me because I have a finite supply of salt water. Now, I understand that after the patch notes, um, that you're guaranteed a salt water geyser in. Uh, a tide pool biome but I think this map was generated before they made that change so this may or may not be a saltwater geyser kind of hoping that it is infinite lettuce would be fantastic what else does it need bleach stone though Oof. bleach stone and what have we got leaky oil fissure that's so much worse all right well I have a lot of water right next to my oil fissure, so that's good. I can pump it in and get oil. Um, so I guess we're going to make a sour gas boiler eventually. I mean, God knows we have enough heat to work with. <sighs> wow. Okay. All right. This is just getting more and more interesting. I am going to also go down here and get this thing. Let's see if we can find a dupe to make an enhanced dupe. All right, did I uncover in my extension of the baser any more geysers? It doesn't look like it. No, nope, but we still need to get to that one, which means we still need an exosuit, which is still queued up. Come on, guys. Anybody? Fabricate. Catalina. Current errand. Get to it, Catalina. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. She touches the ecstasy forge and runs out of power. Uh, all right. Oh, but that finished it off. It was I, I, that probably happened multiple times. Okay, get to it. Good job. Good job. Get over here now. Is that priority six yet? No. All right. Priority six. All that, and that'll be the third guy's reveal. So what have we got? We got a cool steam vent which is dormant. This one's probably no. That one's not dormant yet. Cool steam vent, which is dormant. We've got a leaky oil fissure, which will be great. Um, what, um, <laughs> but am I going to have an easy way to get to it? Hmm. Not necessarily. Wow, this water is so hot. Um, I was going to put insulated tile under here. I figured if I if I box this off, I'm just going to draw this real quick. If I, if I box this off, okay, and then I, like, box... I'm going to leave that there. So if I box this off, oh, that's not a lot of room. If I box it off here, all right, by the time the water gets up there, that thing's going to be flooded. Um, so that's going to be all right. If I box it off like that, um, then I can make a tunnel here, right? I can make a tunnel to get past all this water. I want to be able to get over the oil fissure and work over there without this whole thing just being blocked off and, and reserved for water. So uh, once I get in here and get the whatever this is, uh, maybe I can deconstruct these tiles and make this a deeper well for this cool steam vent. Um, but I can also I can also dig that out now because this thing is dormant. Let's go ahead and 
Yeah, priority six that I did. Okay. I just don't think they can get to it right now because that they need to do that one too. Yeah. All right. All right. So yeah, the lettuce might not do me any good unless I do find one of those um, one of those saltwater geysers. But again, I think I generated this map too uh, too early before those patch notes. Um, I do notice also that I'm at the right side of the map. So there's only this area here um, left to explore. It looks like that's a rust biome over there. Um, there's some water here. Uh, so that could be another steam vent. Um, maybe this will get us... Maybe when we dig down here we'll get close enough. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. All right. How am I doing on reed fiber? I have none. Um, because you have not been... Maybe you haven't been tamed yet. No, this one's still wild and I groomed, I sheared it. I don't know. We'll get to it. They'll get tamed up. I'll go ahead and give that our priority a six just so that they they focus on the ranching over there. I did the same thing over here. Which is probably why I ended up with so many dang shine bugs. Okay. Um, I believe if I go into research, we have the thermal aqua tuner now or no? I did something else instead. I did fossil fuels. We'll go ahead and get the thermal aqua tuner now. So uh, the next thing I'm going to research then is probably the steam engine. Yeah. Um, where's that at? Steam engine over here, renewable energy. But in order to get the steam engine, I'm also going to need smelting to get steel from the metal refinery. And that's going to create its own heat problems right there. Oof, so many, <laughs> so many challenges to overcome. All right, they are building this. I'm sure they're going to end up with heat stroke at some point. Um, that's just too bad. That's pretty much where I sit with that one right now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull the shine bugs. Shine bug, auto wrangle surplus. And over here, I'm going to say just hatches, hatchlings. And I'm not exactly sure how that works. If I say auto wrangle surplus, does that mean... Oh, that would mean auto wrangle the surplus from this room. Okay. So this one, I don't want to auto wrangle surplus. I want them to deliver them here. So I want to say, hey, you can deliver every critter in the world over here. Just deliver the dang critters. And over here, I'm going to say, get rid of the surplus. I don't want more than eight. Uh, also, I don't want shine bugs. So hopefully, they will auto wrangle the shine bugs. We'll see if I got that figured out. Um, looks like we have some skills to go look at. Catalina, who is upside down in the skill tree, um, probably stressed out a little bit right now. Hmm. Digging, 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 lots of digging. We'll go ahead and give her construction. Frankie. Construction you want to construct, so we'll do that. May, we're going to keep going with Art. And Dr. Liam, we're going to go with more... Eh, we're going to go with Improved Carrying for now. Now, speaking of Art, let's go ahead and queue some of that nonsense up. Oh, look, I would love to do some blank canvases, but I have no reed fiber. All right, large sculptures it is. Go ahead and throw some large sculptures down. I'm not sure what happened here. I had some more beds queued up. not floating in the air just just queued up all right finish those beds and then we can get rid of this bedroom and also sweep this nonsense up what do we get a hydrogen vent let's open that thing right now uh, it's kind of sealed over here sealed enough we're going to crack that thing open. It's probably going to go dormant on us if it's not already. It's just over pressure. Uh, given what turn we're on, it, there's a real good chance it's going to be dormant soon. We've got a morb over here. Hmm. I'll need to trap him to get him out of here. Okay. Hydrogen vent. Heck yeah. Um, I'm going to go 
go down here. Um, get rid of that dash of salt vine. I want to open this up as much as possible. And get some rust at the same time. That'll work. Yeah, that'll be great. Maybe I'll slap a door over here. So this hydrogen is going to come out hot though, right? Hydrogen is going to come out at 500 degrees. Oh, I don't have anything that can survive that. So we're going to have to come up with some cooling solutions for this hydrogen. Um, holy cow. All right. Cooling solutions for hydrogen. We'll have to, we'll have to work on that. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Uh, all right, dupes, you've got quite a bit of work queued up. Let's get it done. Should be sweeping up like fools over here. What are you doing? You're just having a seat. Yeah. Have a good sit down there. That, that's all good. Open that. Um, I, I didn't mention it before, but I also set a direction on this door so they can only go out this door. So they have to pass through this park every time they come up here. And actually, that reminds me. We're going to deconstruct that bed, and we're going to build another bed over on this side. And we're going to deconstruct those tiles and put another door there. And that we're going to do the same thing over here where they have to go out this door, and they can't come in this door. Uh, that way, they well, they don't have to go out this door, but they, they can't come in this door, so they have to go through the park to get to their beds and that will give them a lot of like forced morale morale bonus plus six for hanging out in the park all right i'm gonna go ahead and uh well not, i need i don't have any i don't have any fibers all right here we go we need some more fiber we'll be able to build some painting somewhere uh, i am going to go ahead and uh get rid of these beds though we've got these beds up here <laughs> man oxygen is still it's a, it's doing okay it's just so spread out um that the co2 is just just coming into the base we're barely keeping a float on food there all right let's see come on food 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 oh heck i'll, I'll take omelets eight thousand k calories of omelets that printing pot is what's keeping this base alive right now, I'll tell you that. Okay, how's this going over here, guys? They dug my my tunnel. Alright. Oh, there it is. Cooking with gas now. Holy cow. All right, I am going to throw a door over here. I'm going to throw it right there. But we'll let it go ahead and let that... It'll push out a lot of that chlorine, actually, down into this lower area, which will then pressurize this room, which will want to push the chlorine out into my bathroom, which it's good and bad, I guess. I don't really want the chlorine in my base, though. If I had the time and the inclination, I really should build a carbon skimmer um, loop with a, with a uh, water sieve. That would be handy. That is so hot over here. Does he have an overheat temperature? 75, and it's at 44. Okay. We've got a while before we're over temp. Whew. All right, they're done with the research. We're going to go ahead and keep researching. We've got the aqua tuner. Now let's go for the steam. Uh, it's not steam engine. Let's go for the steam engine. Now the steam engine, does it require plastic? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Yeah, I still haven't even filled that liquid reservoir. That thing's been running for like 15 turn, 15 cycles. Okay. Lots of water. Wow. All right. Come on, dupes. Finish this up. I want to see what's inside this unknown area. We can wrap up this video. 
steam oil and hydrogen that's gonna be awesome so as I'm researching right now to this uh, renewable energy um, did I get the hydrogen generator already yeah it's gonna be right here in advanced power regulation so that is gonna be huge um, I really should it's I know it's gonna it's gonna melt eventually but I'm going to put a pump there. And run some power. Maybe I'll get like a liquid cooling loop running over here by the pump to keep it cool because uh, eventually this hydrogen, the heat from this thing is just going to heat everything around it and then it's going to get over to this pump. And it's not going to be pretty. Fortunately, this is only 21 degrees over here, so it's actually combating the, the 500 degrees pretty well. And it's well insulated with all this abyssalite. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'm definitely going to have to put a filter on this, though. There's tons of different gases over here. God, you're so slow when you're in that suit, Liam. Oh, uh, Liam, he's my newest dupe. He's got nothing going on for uh, athletics. So he's the one who's going to come over here to build something. I can only get one dupe at a time over here, you know, with this current airlock that I have. All right. I really got to get off of those bathrooms. But, um, huh. I got to pick a spot for the steam turbine. Since it's so hot over here, I might do it right here. I think I'll, I'll plan that out next time. We'll do that. Um, come on, guys. Finish all of this building. Come on. They're still sweeping. I put the sweep orders up here at 6. And uh, sweep orders, for whatever reason, take pretty high priority. So they're, they're doing that. Actually, it looks like the sweeping... They're probably done sweeping because these are all full, it looks like. Yeah. I don't have any extra storage bins right now. So that's the best that they can do. Looks like they're delivering a ton of dirt to my farm, but that's good. What are you doing? Other than running out of oxygen. What were you trying to do? I think you're trying to get coal. Can you even make it down there? Pick it up. And, ah, oh, you do make it up before you run out of oxygen. Maybe we should put a fire pole there. How are we doing on algae? Still 5k algae. There's not really a lot of algae. There's these little pockets. There's, I think I saw one over here. Yeah, there's one here. But it's not renewable. You can't make algae. So when it's gone, it's gone. So I'm trying to be kind of miserly with it. Might do that same thing, this tunnel that I have here. I might just extend over to this side over here and then and do what I was saying before with the carbon skimmer. Because this is uh, killing my food production. Yeah, it's really eating into my food production. <sighs> I just don't have the power for that. But we're going to have to do it. We really need to do it. All right. Oxygen, carbon skimmer. I'm going to put it right there. We're going to need a uh, refinement water sieve. We're going to put it right there. Flip the inputs and outputs. Uh, plumbing. We're going to take in the clean water and take out the dirty water. And now I need to prime the pump. Uh, how do I want to do this? That's not how I want to do this. There we go. Come over here. Up here. How many pipe segments do I have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. So. The 
it's 16. So we'll do that. We are going to do this in stages. We're basically going to walk the water over there. Um, I'm going to fill up this pipe. Then I'm going to disconnect this um, bridge. And then I'm going to fill up and let the water flow into the other system here. I really don't want to fill this whole pipe up with water. Uh, this is clean water, so I'm going to put it there like so. I don't know if the water sieve still heats water up, but the water we're bringing in here is going to be over 40 degrees, so I think it's just going to be in a permanent loop of whatever temperature it, the water is over here. Uh, I don't know if the carbon skimmer heats the water up either, but obviously the two machines are going to give out heat, so it's just going to continue to be in a heat cycle over here. Gone are the days of the water sieve deleting heat for you. Never made sense anyways, but I'm kind of glad it doesn't do that anymore. Like somebody had an accident down here. Get rid of that. Come on, somebody go submit that bio scan. Really want to know what's in here. It's probably, it looks like it's one of those uh, mesh platforms with water underneath. Maybe some pinch of pepper plants growing in there. The temperature around it's pretty hot though. I don't know. Not sure what that is. Wow, that's going to be hot too, right? It's not as hot as the hydrogen, but there's so much more mass. Erupts all the time. <laughs> Whew, that's going to create a ton of oil. I'm going to need to, I'm going to, need to put that in a room. It's going to turn that salt water to steam. How do I feel about that? Uh... I think I'm going to be okay with that. We're going to do this. So, um, yeah, dupes can't go in there without melting, so... Definitely going to have to wait, I think, until I get another ammo suit dock here. All right. I just want to finish this up. Let me see what's in here. Yes, indeed. It is some pinch of pepper plants and some water. Uh, at 41 degrees so that's not very helpful I might just dig it out anyways and turn that into the water basin it'll be a big water basin but what the hell there's already water down here ah, we'll figure that out next time all right so this this did work it did what I wanted it to do um, I can disconnect this bridge now according to the recent patch notes water from a dead-end pipe will flow towards an outlet so it should flow over to here We're getting overheat damage? No. It's only 50 degrees. I don't know what happened. Doesn't it look like overheat damage? Huh. Oh no. All right, this thing filled up, which is great. Uh, but I did not account for uh, a filter. And we have some bad gases in here. Um, I'm going to be okay with that. It'll do some damage to this thing, and they will repair it with aluminum. That's going to be fine for now. I shouldn't be going in here that often. Okay. What do we want? Oh, we're going to finish this carbon skimmer. Let's finish this thing, and then wrap this session up. Burning pod. Ice. Thank you. <laughs> 
What I'm going to do with this ice is I'm going to just create temp shift plates. How much ice have I got left? Holy cow. There's no way I still have that much ice left. I think it's lying to me. We're just going to say build those first. There's no way I have that many. Oh, of course. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, let's try that again. Temp shift plates. Last time I built them, I built them out of ice. I don't know why it didn't, uh, why it didn't keep that. There we go. That's all of them. And then we'll go ahead and store liquefiables down here. All right, build those. And you can sweep that dirt off in the wood chance. Okay. And build some artwork up here. Make it pretty. How many do we on reed fiber? I have two. Alright, you guys just have too much to do for six dupes. But you don't have enough food to bring in a seventh dupe. Gar. All right. Well, I guess we'll do this next time. I'm going to wrap this up here. It was an hour recording. So uh, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed this video or my channel in general, consider subscribing. Uh, please like and share with your friends. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in. This is Nom Nom signing out.